Scientists have made a significant discovery on Mars. A vast underground reservoir of liquid water has been detected. This reservoir is so large that it could potentially cover the entire planet with water to a depth of one to two kilometers, or about a mile. This finding helps to address a long-standing mystery about Mars. What happened to all its water? Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Mars wasn't always the dry and dusty planet we know today. Billions of years ago, it had a thicker atmosphere and a warmer climate, which allowed liquid water to flow on its surface. But how can we be certain? There are three key pieces of evidence that indicate water once existed on Mars. First, Mars is covered with networks of valleys and outflow channels that closely resemble river valleys and deltas on Earth. These networks suggest that liquid water once flowed across the Martian surface, carving out channels and depositing sediments. Second, the detection of hydrated minerals such as clays, sulfates, and specific salts supports the idea that water was once present on Mars. These minerals have been identified by orbiters like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and rovers such as Curiosity, providing strong evidence of past water. Lastly, Martian rovers have discovered sedimentary rock formations similar to those formed by water on Earth. These layered rocks often display features like cross-bedding, which is caused by water flowing over a surface, and ripple marks created by moving water. However, between three to four billion years ago, Mars underwent catastrophic changes that significantly altered its history. The collapse of its magnetic field marked the beginning of these changes. Like Earth, Mars once had a global magnetic field generated by a dynamo effect within its molten core. This field would have protected the Martian atmosphere from the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles emitted by the sun. As Mars's core cooled, the dynamo effect weakened, leading to the eventual loss of the magnetic field. Without this protective field, Mars's atmosphere became vulnerable to the solar wind, which gradually stripped it away, causing a significant drop in atmospheric pressure. As the atmosphere thinned, liquid water on the surface began to evaporate and escape into space. The weakening atmosphere also reduced the greenhouse effect, leading to a sharp decline in temperature. As Mars cooled, any remaining liquid water froze, becoming surface ice, or permafrost, beneath the surface. Yet something didn't quite add up. Even after accounting for the water lost to space, Mars should still have a considerable amount of water. The frozen water in the polar ice caps wasn't nearly enough to account for it all. This led to an intriguing question. Where is the rest of the water on Mars? And if it still exists, could it possibly support life? The answer came from NASA's InSight lander, a mission designed to explore Mars's interior. Unlike previous missions focused on surface exploration, InSight was designed to dig deeper, both literally and figuratively. Its mission was to study Mars's seismic activity, heat flow, and internal composition by probing beneath the crust. During its four-year mission, InSight detected over 1,300 Marsquakes caused by meteor impacts and volcanic activity. These quakes produced seismic waves that allowed scientists to investigate the planet's interior. Hidden within these seismic signals was a surprising discovery, a vast reservoir of liquid water. The method used to detect this water is similar to techniques used on Earth to study underground structures. By analyzing how seismic waves travel through different materials, scientists can infer the properties of those materials. To find this hidden Martian water, scientists used a mathematical model of rock physics similar to those employed on Earth to map underground aquifers and oil fields. The model suggested that the seismic data could be explained by the presence of a layer of fractured igneous rock with its cracks filled with liquid water deep below the Martian surface. 
Igneous rocks form from the cooling and solidification of molten material, either magma below Earth's surface or lava on its surface. As these rocks cool, they can develop fractures and cracks, which can create pathways for water to flow and be stored. Over time, these cracks can widen, allowing more water to seep in. Although igneous rocks are not typically known for their porosity, they can still retain water under certain conditions. For decades, the idea of finding liquid water on Mars has captivated scientists and the general public alike. The red planet, with its dry, barren landscape and thin atmosphere, has long been thought to be inhospitable to life as we know it. However, the quest to find water, one of the essential ingredients for life, has driven numerous missions to Mars. Recent groundbreaking discoveries by NASA have finally confirmed what was once thought to be mere speculation. Oceans of liquid water exist on Mars. A historical perspective. The search for water on Mars is not new. Ever since Mariner 9 sent back the first detailed images of the Martian surface in the early 1970s, scientists have speculated that Mars once harbored liquid water. These early images showed dry riverbeds, outflow channels, and other geological features that suggested water had once flowed on the planet. However, whether Mars still had liquid water remained an open question. Over the years, NASA's Mars missions, including the rover's spirit, opportunity, and curiosity, provided increasing evidence that Mars had a wet past. They found minerals that could only form in the presence of water, and curiosity discovered ancient lake beds that once held liquid water. But the existence of contemporary liquid water remained elusive. The Breakthrough Discovery the recent discovery by NASA marks a turning point in our understanding of Mars. Using data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, equipped with the powerful Sharad Shallow Radar Instrument, scientists have detected vast reservoirs of liquid water beneath the Martian surface. These are not just small pockets of water, but expansive underground oceans that stretch for miles. The detection was made possible by analyzing the radar echoes bouncing back from the Martian surface. The Sharad instrument is capable of penetrating the planet's surface, revealing the subsurface structure. What the scientists found was astonishing. Large bodies of liquid water trapped beneath layers of ice and rock kept from freezing by the planet's internal heat. Implications for life the discovery of liquid water on Mars is monumental not just because it reshapes our understanding of the planet, but because it raises the tantalizing possibility that life could exist on Mars. Water is a fundamental requirement for life, and on Earth, where there is water, there is life. If Mars has vast oceans of liquid water, it could potentially harbor microbial life, or at the very least, provide a habitat where life could survive. The subsurface oceans are protected from the harsh surface conditions of Mars, including extreme temperatures and radiation. This makes them a potentially stable environment where life could have evolved independently from Earth. Scientists are now eager to explore these underground oceans further to search for signs of life. The Future of Mars Exploration this discovery is likely to have a profound impact on future Mars missions. Until now, the primary focus has been on exploring the surface of Mars. But this breakthrough suggests that the most exciting discoveries may lie beneath the surface. Future missions to Mars may prioritize drilling into these subsurface oceans to directly sample the water and search for signs of life. The discovery also raises new questions about Mars's history. How did these oceans form? How long have they existed? And how do they interact with the Martian climate and geology? Answering these questions will be key to understanding the Red Planet's past, present, and future. 
Conclusion NASA's confirmation of liquid water oceans on Mars is a discovery of immense significance. It opens up a new chapter in the exploration of the Red Planet and raises the possibility that Mars may not be as dead as it appears on the surface. With the potential for life, these hidden oceans could be the key to understanding whether we are truly alone in the universe. As we continue to explore Mars, the search for life will likely shift focus to these subsurface waters, marking a new era in planetary exploration.